This is your new updated guide for the Chronosen with Chronosen Studios and the new firmware that was just released by Collective Minds. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do so that you guys can update and have everything running smoothly. Don't forget to like and sub. Also, join the Discord. My guy Jedi makes scripts for us. Without further ado, let's get into it. So Collective Minds recommends that you uninstall the previous version of Zen Studios. So that's what I'm here to show you from the beginning here. What you need to do, uh, if you have your Zen Studios on your desktop, first thing you can do is go down to the search bar. So that's the shortcut down in the search bar. What you need to do is look for something called Control Panel. Now, I have mine up, but you can also just type in there, in the search bar, Control Panel, and you'll be able to find it from there. So that search bar is very helpful. After that, click on Control Panel. At the bottom where you see Programs, you want to go to the Uninstall, that option, and click on that one. <clears throat> Your app should be able to show up right there. Now you can scroll down until you find it, or you can search for it up there in the search bar in this location. When you type in Zen, you should be able to see it. From there, you click on it once, and then you'll have the option to uninstall it. So hit the uninstall button, say yes, and all the different properties that go with it. So all the scripts you have saved and everything, you might want to back them up somewhere else. But yes, uninstall. So we can reinstall the new version. That's how you get started with this. Now, let me show you how to install the new version. So there's two ways that you can do this, maybe three, but the two that I'm going to show you today. You can just load from their, uh, you can download from their Discord, or you can download from Google and then their actual website. But the build version that we're looking for is what I'm going to show you. If you are doing it from Discord, if you're a part of their Discord, you'll see that they have it underneath the announcement section right here. Click here to download Zen Studio 1.5.0 Build 76. Chronosen or chronosmax.com, the files and everything. So from here, you would click on this. It'll tell you this right there. Now, that's what we're going to talk about in a little bit. But for me, I set up my internet so that I don't have to worry about that and I have a VPN. So continue to download. And then from there, as I hit the download button, it'll come up in this little corner. And then I can find it in a folder or I can just start downloading it. Now, that's one way to do it. The folder is right here. And this is the installation for Zen Studios, the new one. I'm going to show you the other way real quick, and then we're going to move forward with the actual download and the installation. So second way to do this, Google. Type in Google, Chronos Zen Download. From there, go to Install Zen Studios. As you can see, it's right here. You can use either of these two, by the way, but this is the one that gets you there the fastest. Step one, Install Zen Studios. So click on that. And then from here, step-by-step -step guide, this is from their site, Download 1.5.0 Build 76. That's what we're working with. That's what we want. Click on that. Same exact thing happened. It came up here to my download section. As I click on the download section, I can open up that folder, and you can see it's right here. Now, if you get into trouble with this and it does not work, it may be one of your internet uh, security settings, at which case... In that case, they have a free VPN that you can try. And that VPN will help get you the rest of the way to get past this particular part of it. The third way that you can do this is within Zen Studios itself. If you click on the old icon, the old Zen Studios app, you'll get this message to update software. So you can just click the link that they have right there, and that will take you through everything that I've been mentioning from there. Uh, this, for reference sake is just an error that you can basically ignore this might not this is me opening this in discord by the way this is nothing anyway let's go on to the installation of the new zen studios so from your download folder you have zen studio setup version 1.5.0 build 76 double click on that and you should receive a message telling you to set up zen studios click next this is your start menu folder. It's going to create the icon, the shortcut, hit install, and then finish. And you see it already installed it over here on this side. So that's the new Zen Studios. We're going to open up from there, and we're going to download the firmware next. Okay, so click on Zen Studios. 
It's going to open up from there. Now I don't have my Zen plugged in right now. You need to plug in from the right side cable into your computer, the USB port. And it'll let you know right away the firmware installed in device is incompatible with this version. So now we need to update our firmware. Firmware can be found up here under Tools, Firmware Update. So click on Firmware Update. This will launch this, this tool that they have. And it and that's pretty good. It tells you exactly what to do from there. Update application now. Now it says no device is found. That's because I don't have it plugged in the right way. You need to then put in the other cable, the small cable. The console cable is what they call it. I just plugged that in. On the bottom of the Chronos Zen, there's a little button. Hold that down, about three seconds. And you see this will pop up. Chronos Zen Collective Minds. Click on this, use the latest version available. Hit continue. It's gonna tell you what update it's doing. Begin your update. Doesn't take too long. Just waiting on this to finish up. After that's all said and done, that's everything, my dudes. You've got the latest Chronosend version, uh, Studios version. Okay. So the latest Chronosend Studios version and the latest firmware. Everything is now officially updated. That's it. Now you can play around all you want in here. Device synchronized successfully. Let's go. So scripts, library, game packs, all the things that you would want. And my ever favorite one, Doom Eternal, because it is useful for everything. Definitely the best backup game pack you could have for any game that you play. All right, my dudes. Hopefully this was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I love all you guys. Remember, keep it zen out there. I'll see you in the next one.